Learning to Recover from a Narcissistic Relationship. Hey guys, it's been a little while since I posted and I apologize. Other work and life required me to take a brief break from the channel, but I'm back again to share some great information, information that I hope will provide inspiration and help in your healing process. So stick around for the next few minutes because I'm going to discuss how you can learn to recover from a narcissistic relationship. So let's get into this. I recently witnessed a good friend leave a toxic relationship with a covert narcissist. And I'm super proud of how she's taken the time to work on herself, start her healing process, and start to find her happy place again. And I'm dedicating this video to her. Thanks so much for demonstrating your strength, Eva. I hope this video will be an inspiration to anyone out here watching. Being in a relationship with a narcissist will tax the hell out of you. It will drain you emotionally. It will destroy your self-confidence. It will ruin relationships with other people and ultimately isolate you from the outside world you used to know. But check this out, there is light at the end of the tunnel. When you finally finish falling, when you've hit rock bottom, and you're broken into a million pieces, when there's nobody staying there to help you collect yourself, nobody's there to help you pick up all those pieces, it's up to you to figure out which pieces are worth keeping. That's totally up for you to decide. And as difficult and painful as that might sound, trust me on this. Stay down as long as you need to. It's the most important part. Take your time. You're already broken. Pay close attention. Take notes. Start a journal. That part is over now. It's time to slow things down. You might be thinking that the abuse and being broken down was the most painful chapter. It wasn't. It's time to turn the page in your book of life. Prepare for the next chapter. This chapter is going to take much longer. It's the healing. The rising back up from the ashes. The comeback. This is going to be the birth of the new you. It's not going to be easy. But trust me, you've got what it takes. You're strong, you're brave, and you're worth it. You're going to have to leave a lot of yourself behind. But you know what? That's okay. It's time you let go of all those parts of you that you've outgrown. You're not going to allow yourself to be small anymore. You're not bending or adjusting to try to fit where you should no longer be. It's time to go all in on you, and for right now, only you. There's no more time for any distractions. Remember every wound, every scar that's been ripped open, every drop of blood you bled, every tear you cried, as if everything you've gone through has all been for this one moment, right here and right now. You needed to go through all this pain to get to this version of you, knowing exactly who you are, knowing exactly who you aren't, and knowing exactly who you will never be again. It's time to drop all the apologies, guys. Stop being sorry for who you are. Stop feeling sorry for what you had to do to get here. And stop being sorry for what it took to learn your worth. Break out of that box of all you were supposed to be according to everyone that abused and judged you and walk into the new you. Start being comfortable in your own skin. It's time. You've definitely earned it. Stop wearing the expectations of anyone else. Remove all of those expectations and stop letting anyone else decide what your worth is. It's time for you to decide your own worth and let everyone else be damned because now you know 
you finally know. And now it's time to go celebrate you. Get up. Dust yourself off. It doesn't hurt anymore. So go show yourself what you're made of. Trust me here, guys. When you start focusing on yourself and shut out all that nasty noise that's out there trying to suck the energy from you, stop it. Stop allowing it to control your life. I mean, after all, we only have one life to live, right? Why not start the healing process today and create a new and better life for yourself that you truly deserve? Thanks so much for tuning back in. And until next time, keep looking out for those signs. Stay alert. Be vigilant. Be strong. Be brave. And go live your best life today.